Hours after the tragic incident took place, authorities are still carrying out search and rescue operation. Many are feared to be still trapped inside the crushed bogies. More than a hundred people are injured and we fear that the number of dead could increase. The entire nation shares the grief of the affected families. We will keep the nation informed about the outcome of the inquiry about the crash. Unfortunately, for a long time, our railway system and other departments have been deprived of the finances that should have been invested in them. As a result, we are witnessing a deterioration in these departments. As a result of this accident, six coaches of one of the trains were derailed and five coaches overturned, while two coaches of the incoming train were derailed and three overturned. We are busy compiling the lists and the injured are being treated in Sakkar Division. Our second task is to restore the railway track so that services can resume and passengers can start travelling to and from Karachi and the image of the railway department is not spoiled. The dead bodies and those rescued injured have been shifted to the hospitals. Pakistan Army troops, police, the district administration took part in the rescue operation. The incident paralyzed a railway traffic across the country and could take hours to resume. The relatives who are coming here are running around, crying and screaming for information. So far, there is no information about who has died and who has survived. Prime Minister Imran Khan has ordered a comprehensive investigation into railway safety fault lines. Since 2002, Pakistan has seen more than 27 major train accidents. The thousands of kilometers of railway tracks remain in a depleted state. Experts say it is all due to massive corruption, incompetent management and a lack of investment in the railway department. Experts say if due attention is not paid to the deteriorating state of the railways department, then such accidents in the future would remain inevitable. Daniel Khan, CGTN, Islamabad.